So, Adikov, this is Danny from Breeze Surf Club in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Today, we're going to be talking about the ozone product. We chose three different kites for our surf club because these kites are perfect for our spot. spot. We usually have flat, shallow, walkable water, and then when we have the northeast wind, we go up north and we get a little bit of waves, so we go big over there. So, but it only lasts about two months or so, and then we come back over here in Bantai, back to the flat area again. So, we recommend it three different types of kite and I'm gonna explain to you what's the difference between them. Come on, follow me here. We got the Ozone Catalyst. This is a V3. The V4 is already out. We've been using this for quite a while already for teaching, for riding, for fun. This is a perfect kite for beginners. Why? Because it's very forgiving. Easy to relaunch, easy to manage, easy to control. With the one strut, the kite is very lightweight, so it flies in almost no wind. However, this is not a kite where you want to go in a storm. However, we took it out in the storm at 40 knots and Mo was flying at 12 meters up in the air so I don't know how this kite holds shape so well even with one strut it's whole shape very very nicely so but with one strut the price of it will be cheaper okay because it's less material so this is a great kite for beginners because it's forgiving also a great kite if you want a second kite for maybe for light wind and maybe you get a 16 square meter it comes in the uh, all the way up to 16 so it's 10 12 14 and 16 it could be a great second kite affordable since you're not gonna once you know how to ride you're not gonna love to ride in a light wind anymore but it could be a uh, something for you to have fun with and also great i used it for a hydrofoil last year and it was really good i used the edge for hydrofoil but it was it was too much power for me so the the uh, the catalyst was perfect but this is the next one is the enduro it has three struts the difference between one strut and three strut, you know how it is. It's gonna be more stable. Open sea still in the profile of it and um, it has different settings, okay? So the Enduro specialty is it has three different settings. So if you wanna do wave riding, freestyle or free ride, you could just change the nut in the front. What it does is, is change the trim of the front of the kite, makes the kite behave differently. So if you're doing freestyle, it will be a little bit slower, more stable, so it's easy to unhook doing crazy trick and stuff. The free ride is what I like to do. The free ride will give you a little bit more power and you still could loop it and everything. As you can see, like Jamie Overbeek, he's using the edge for going big and uh, old school and hang time, right? But when he's ready to do a double loop, triple loop, he'll be using the Enduro and it'll be a smaller one. Personally, I like the Enduro because I am not scared of it. The Edge has a lot of power. So let's go check out the Edge. This is the Edge V11. The V12 is already out. So the V11 has five strut. What does that mean when we have five strut kite? The five strut kite will keep shape much better than the other kite okay that means this kite will react very well on a strong wind on the gusty wind and um, amazingly they build this usually a five star kite is very heavy however this one could fly in almost no wind i don't know how they build it especially the v12 i just took out the 12 uh, 11 square meter the other day at 10 knots 11 knots 12 knots maybe on the high gust but i was able to do dark slide it with 134 board with I don't know how they do it. So with the Edge, it's a good all-round kite. It used to be a race kite. They're still using it in a youth Olympic racing, but it's a really good kite if you want to go big, if you want to hang time, if you want to be looping it. It's scary when I loop it personally. And um, it's still easy to manage. Um, I was able to reverse launch it. I was able, I'd never have problem re relaunching this kite at all. So this is what we totally recommended. And the wind range, the coverage of the wind range here is better than the, the, the Enduro. Somehow the wind range is so big. Our favorite size is 11 for square meters for 75 kilo, 65 kilo rider. Cause we could pretty much go from 12 knots wind all the way up to 25. When it gets to 28, it's not comfortable anymore. So personally, I'm start liking the eight because I could go out on a 15 knots wind all the way up to 30. So it's like, just imagine that you're covering 12 to 15 knots wind with one kite. That means spend less money and more kiting time. So 
there you go all the three kites from our favorite brand Ozone. thank you very much for your hard work and they have their own factory in vietnam what does that mean they're only producing Ozone product nobody else has it in the world so i totally recommend it Ozone. so if you need more information give me a ring